Well, we're joined now by Baroness Janet Royal, who tabled the amendment which forced these new changes to the stalking laws. Good morning to you. Thank you very much for joining us, uh, Baroness Royal. You must be absolutely delighted. Good morning. I am. I'm personally delighted, but I'm even more delighted for the victims, the people to whom you've just been talking in your piece, because victims will now have greater security and peace of mind. And these people, it really is a slow death. Uh, Elia, Ellie Ashton, who I think you may be speaking to later, I mean, she was stalked for eight years. Uh, and it's unbelievable what these women suffer and their families as well. It's absolute torment. So now we will ensure that perpetrators are behind bars for longer and that this heinous crime is taken seriously as it should be. It's interesting, isn't it, you say taken seriously, because I think for a long time, talking was seen as something that happened to celebrities, to film stars. And when you look at the stats that it's one in five women, one in yeah. ten men have experienced something like this, uh, we're talking about ordinary people, aren't we now? Oh, yeah. I mean, as you say, a humongous number of ordinary people. But it's thanks to campaigners, the women to whom you've been speaking, but also charities like Paladin that have been raising awareness. But it's taken a hell of a long time. Uh, but now I'm very glad that the government has moved. It's great that they introduced a law of stalking four years, again, four years ago, thanks again to an amendment I tabled. But it's even better that they've doubled the uh, amount of time now, the maximum sentence, because Judges will be given greater flexibility and when they think that a person deserves to be banged up for longer, he or in certain cases she will be banged up. And it will also enable the perpetrators to be treated. At the moment they're not properly assessed and not properly treated and I think they deserve to be treated as well. Yeah, that's one of the crucial things, isn't it? There are concerns from campaigners that stalkers that are behind bars aren't given that one-to-one -one treatment, so they can actually carry on stalking via social media now. It doesn't, just because they're in jail, necessarily prohibit them from, from continuing that campaign. Yeah, so they have, to be, they have to be treated. And all the people who are dealing with both the victims and the perpetrators of stalking, they must be properly trained. And I think it's important, it's imperative now, that the training for the police, the judiciary and the prison system, that all the training is stepped up. Because at the moment, not enough people are properly trained. So that they don't know how to, how to deal with the issue as they should. Baroness. There are some pl notable exceptions. For example, the police force in Gloucestershire. Yes, no, it's fantastic and it's a great step forward and we're, going, as you say, going to be talking from those who have been victims of stalking later in the programme. But for now, Baroness, good to speak to you this morning.